efficiency of the Alpha Gracia began its term in April 2013. Since then, the Colombian ambassador to Thailand and his wife, Astrid, have become highly visible and respected doer in local diplomatic community. They were both delighted when they learned that Mr. Gracia had been chosen to head the embassy here and have thoroughly enjoyed their time in the Kingdom of Thailand. Madame Astrid Gracia does not have any official position with the Colombian mission here, but she is an effective representative of her country in her own right. Besides helping her husband at various diplomatic activities like luncheons, dinners and receptions, she is very active in other social and charitable events. She is a key member of a group of ambassadors, spouses, as well as the Young Women's Christian Association. Like her husband, she is impressed with the rapid development in Thailand and Bangkok in particular. Mrs. Gracia said that since coming to Thailand, she has collected a great many memories that are all special to her. But passing of His Majesty King Pumipun Adulyadeh was the most emotional experience. Colombia and Thailand have held diplomatic relations for almost four decades. The embassy of Colombia in Bangkok was opened five years ago. Trade between Colombia and Thailand is around 400 million US dollars. It is growing every year. There are numerous programs of cooperation between the two countries on agriculture, tourism, and environment. About 50,000 Colombians visited Thailand in the past five years. Last year, more than 500 Thais visited Colombia. It's increased every year, as with many of his colleagues, and therefore is also ambassador of Colombia to Laos, Cambodia, and Myanmar. It is worth underlying that Colombian benefits from Thailand in agricultural and land matters, including learning from the successful experience of Thai sufficiency economy, inspired and led by His Majesty the late King Pumipun Adulyadeh. Thailand benefits by scholarships to learn Spanish at Colombian universities. In the past four years, 25 Thai fellows have been studying Spanish in Colombia on full scholarships. After over five years spent in Bangkok, his Excellency Alfredo Gracia, the ambassador of Colombia, and his wife, Madame Astrid Amaya, will be leaving the country. As part of their farewell, Madame Astrid has organized an art exhibition to be showcased at the Queen Zurichit Gallery. The exhibition title, 171003, the Queen's Arts Gallery, will showcase work by 17 internationally renowned artists hailing from 10 different countries across three different continents. The International Art Exhibition is part of an effort to promote the flourishing contemporary art scene in Bangkok by encouraging the appreciation in used public art spaces. It also pays homage to the five-story exhibition space as part of the Queen Mother's initiative of promoting Thai art. Visitors can expect artwork created by names ranging from Iranian artist Arash Goyan to Colombian artist Leonardo Zalaza and Japanese new media artist Noriko Kinouji. Thailand is also represented among the global names by Thai artist, printmaker and painter Wai Jira Chai Sekun. With Bangkok's first Bangkok Art Biennale happening this month, these events contributing to growing Thailand out there on the global art stage. We are sparkling dialogue between Thailand and other diplomatic communities through art. Those looking to continue their contemporary art sec after exploring the BAB should not miss out on this exhibition either. ASEAN Economic Community Having the same hopes and mutual intentions to create sustainable growth and permanent economic progress within the framework of the ASEAN Comprehensive Investment Agreement. The ACIA exists to facilitate trade and commerce between member nations, as well as to improve quality of people's lives. One vision, one identity, one community. After spending over five years in Thailand, His Excellency El Defo Gracia, the ambassador of Colombia, and his wife, Madame Astrid Amaria, will be leaving the country. As part of their farewell, Madame Astrid has organized an art exhibition titled 171003, the Queen's Arts Gallery, a showcase of artwork from across three continents at the Queen's Rikid Gallery. 
with Bangkok's first Bangkok Art Biennale happening in October 2018. Those looking to continue their contemporary art track after exploring the BAB should not miss out on this exhibition either. And what artwork can visitors expect at this exhibition? Today we will have an honorary guide to lead us to appreciate works by internationally renowned artists from different countries across three different continents during an opening reception on October 26. Madame Astrida Maya Gracia is a wife of His Excellency Mr. Andrew Fo Gracia, the ambassador of Colombia to Thailand. They rank as one of the favorite diplomatic couples on the Bangkok social scene and a well-known for appreciation of arts. Madame Astrid Maya Gracia has been traveling uh, in the globe for uh, the past 25 years, meeting artists and collecting artwork. And there, here she is with us now. Sawadika. Sawadika. Very welcome to Thailand to the program out here. Thank you very much, Kusuma. Thank Pleasure. you very much. Well, we need you. Because, uh, first of all, let me allow me to congratulate for such a um, what you call a uh, very distinctive uh, um, beauty of uh, art. Thank yeah, you, and all that kind of thing. So, tell me, uh, how do you start? Though you have been dealing with, involving with art all over the world. Uh, tell us mm, about that. It was maybe. 40 years ago, I have been always loving art, uh -huh. but I really started uh, uh, visiting artists in different countries mm -hmm. maybe 35 years ago in mm -hmm. Cuba mm -hmm. because I saw amazing artists mm -hmm. with too many problems to be able to mm -hmm. show their art mm -hmm. and to sell their art. Mm -hmm. So I started helping them to be able to sell their art, to find materials for them to paint. Mm -hmm. And I got so passionate about it that one thing led to the other. And uh, after like four years, I had another embassy told uh, mm -hmm. all of them telling me, can you help us? Mm -hmm. Can you help us? You're doing great with Cuban artists. Uh, can you help us? Uh, and I, it started. It was not a business. It was just passion for art. Uh, then it grew big and I got involved with corporations. Mm -hmm. So I, I am not a gallery. I'm not an art dealer for itself. Mm -hmm. I work for... Um, our company in the United States mm. uh, work for corporations and what we do is we travel around the world we find artists in different countries mm -hmm. and we help these artists mm -hmm. to grow to sell their art mm -hmm. for corporations mm -hmm. for big uh, uh, corporate collections mm -hmm. so that is why that I could put together an exhibit like this that was put basically in three months because we have around 400 artists around the world mm. that if I call them to do something, immediately oh, they nice. will. Yeah. <laughs> but normally people to deal with exhibition or arts, there must be some kind of artist or painters, aren't you? Absolutely, Kasuma. I cannot paint the wall. <laughs> if I paint the wall, I will have to say this is a wall. Uh, I think that's why I admire so much mm, uh, the talent that the uh, artists have. Uh, they could express themselves mm, with a brush and, mm, and, and some colors. Yeah. So how about this this kind of exhibition? You've been doing for for every year or what? I uh, in the United States, mm. I do this like maybe 300 exhibitions a year mm. uh, for the top corporations in the world. Mm. So we bring art from different countries, whatever they want to mm. show about their country. Mm. We do it with art. Mm. And they, in the United States, marketing. Mm -hmm. And now it's very strong to do marketing for corporations mm. through art. Mm. Because mm. the art could express anything. Mm -hmm. So that's what we do in the States. So we put together... Uh, an exhibition for a big company where they bring uh, uh, people from all over the world, clients or people from the company mm -hmm. and they do an event because with art events it's very easy to engage people mm -hmm. to invite people mm -hmm. and they will come mm -hmm. because everybody loves art so that's how the big corporations are now uh, working in marketing mm -hmm. through art. Uh -huh. We've been hearing about uh, her uh, years of experience and her years of doing that. But how about the name of this? I'm just, I like the name. Because it's what, it's what, 171003? What was that? 
that did it come was, up that way? That was that it was like twelve o'clock at night, uh -huh. and I had to give a name to oh. the exhibition okay. because they were going to go to printing materials and everything. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking like, okay, what name? What name? And I say, okay, there are seventeen artists, ten mm -hmm. countries, mm -hmm. three continents. Mm -hmm. So that's it, seventeen, ten, or three. Uh -huh. So that's why the name is that. <laughs> uh, very interesting, right? And you now you like to hear about what? Who are the seventeen? Oh, okay. The 17 artists exhibiting today here, uh, the common denominator is that they have been already in museums, including the Louvre Museum. Oh, really? Yes. Which one? Yes. Have to go around, have a look. Uh, yeah. Artists from Iran, uh, just this week, uh, he exhibited the Louvre Museum, and the Louvre Museum bought one piece of art for the permanent collection. Goodness, that that's the quality great. of artists that I'm talking about. Uh -huh. So, um, all of them, most of them, I, I would say 90% have been in museums in their country and outside their country. Uh, they have been uh, with publications. Mm -hmm. uh, they have even been in cover pages of magazines, mm -hmm. international magazines. So we have been working with them for maybe 15 years mm -hmm. with some of them, some of them more, mm -hmm. some of them just uh, three years. But all of them has a relationship mm -hmm. with, with us. Mm -hmm. So 17 is what? 17 artists. Artists. So who are they? Do you remember uh, all? Um, maybe I could try. Yeah. I don't uh, know. Uh, um, I have from, from country, Colombia. Yes. Of Colombia. course, I said it first. Uh, uh, from Colombia. Uh, how I many have, pieces from Colombia? Uh, maybe 35 pieces. Wow, huge in amount. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. They're what? They're very famous or what? Uh, well, uh, one of them, Madhwa Jelbe, he won two prizes in the United States. One was for illustration. Of a, of a book and cover page of a book and uh, he also was the first artist that um, had a big exhibition with Bloomingdale's mm -hmm. in Madison Avenue, the headquarters mm -hmm. of Bloomingdale. That was maybe 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. He was the first artist that covered all the windows of Bloomingdale's wow. uh, major store. Mm -hmm. He had like 30 pieces of his art mm -hmm. all around the store. In the outside, mm -hmm. and he was in the New York Times. He was interviewed. Everything it mm -hmm. was a big uh, thing for him. Uh, and the ten is October. The, the ten, ten is uh, ten countries. Ten countries. Ten yeah. countries. Uh -huh. So yeah. what? Uh, Colombia. Colombia. Uh, Mexico. Mexico. Uh, uh, Argentina. Argentina. Chile. Uh -huh. uh, Israel. Uh -huh. This artist here. Uh -huh. uh, Thailand. Uh -huh. Iran, uh, Argentina, I said, or Cuba, Cuba, Spain, uh -huh. and Chile, yeah, uh, Chile, and know. the three. Zero three? Three, three continents. But three continents. Very interesting. Like really interesting. And this is the, 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 the collection or the gatherings of uh, material arts pieces where uh, I think almost all, the, all over the world is right here. Yeah. So it's an opportunity for people to, to visit here. Yeah, right? exactly. So tell me, that now we hear about other things also. How about your inspiration of doing this kind of thing? I admire so much the artists. Uh, they are people that really they could put in a canvas uh -huh. uh, the description of anything mm. in the world mm. just with a brush and some paint. Mm. So for me, I would not be able to do anything of this. Oh, I'm terrible. Uh, so I'm like, how could you paint? When they explain me one uh, of their art pieces, I'm like, oh my God, now I see it there. Like uh, after they tell you everything, you see it. And I'm like, I would not be able to do that. Uh, so I admire that somebody could do uh, this. Do, um, as for me, because when you look at something, you can never understand what is actually exactly. so complex. And, and everybody cannot... could understand it different. And uh, it happens. Sometimes you are in front of an art piece. Uh, and the person that is with you say, oh my God, this is so beautiful. This is a mountain that the sun <laughs> and you are you are thinking like, I never saw a mountain <laughs> there. So everybody could uh, mm -hmm. interpret it however they want to. How many days do you draw attention, that attention that, okay, I will join you. I mean, about the arrangement, how many days in advance do you arrange for what, for the the to, yeah, to gather, yeah. The gathering of the, such a huge oh, number. Okay. Well, it has been 35 years doing it. Uh -huh. So, um, how, how many times in Bangkok? In Bangkok, I think we have done maybe like seven uh, or eight exhibitions already mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. We have been here for almost six years. Mm -hmm. So, maybe two by year we have been doing. And mm -hmm. we did very nice things. Mm -hmm. We did 
the first exhibition of Latin American art. Mm -hmm. We show the seven Latin American countries that mm -hmm. are represented here. Mm -hmm. That was the first year that I arrived here. Mm -hmm. It was in uh, Central Embassy. Mm -hmm. And it was a beautiful exhibition of maybe like uh, 70 pieces of art, only Latin America. Mm -hmm. We had um, like the 10 top collectors from Thailand assisting to this event. Mm -hmm. And I remember people mm -hmm. telling me, you just arrived. Uh -huh. How did you get yeah, yeah, all these important people? I know. Normally they don't come to, to galleries and this whole event. It was great. It you have was to tell me the trick now. <laughs> you watch. How do you do? I want to ask well, that too. I, I think a lot of things happen for me uh, by coincidence or just because maybe uh -huh. I try to do things very the simple way. Mm -hmm. I when we arrived here, um, my uh, my son uh, was with us, and we asked what is the best uh, museum. We started looking, and then we read about the Moka Museum. Mm -hmm where Bon, bon Chai mm -hmm. is the owner and uh, has been in art for many, many years. Mm -hmm. So we mm -hmm. basically uh, mm -hmm. find out mm -hmm. how to get to him. We send an email mm -hmm. and we said, we are here, we love art, we are art collectors, mm -hmm. and we would love to meet you. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, in three days, he came over, it came over out of the Ooh. blue and he said, I will receive you. And he gave us a tour of two hours Ooh. of his museum. I think if we would have planned it with six months in advance asking for an appointment, it wouldn't happen. He mm. was amazing. Mm. He's such an art lover and, and he has passion for every single piece that he has. Mm. So we had a wonderful tour with him mm -hmm. in this way. When we did an event, we invited him and he came. Mm. So and with other collectors, the same thing. We were asking, like, we want to meet you. And, and every year. You've been doing it, but uh, from the year one to until today, it's almost five or six times you said. But so, how, did you see any improvement or anything more and more people more interesting in, in art so or what? Here in Thailand, it's funny because when you say I want to do this, they always say nobody cares here in Thailand. <laughs> uh, Don't do it. Uh, uh, it. It's the first thing that uh, I, I am accustomed to. It. <laughs> And when you start doing it, uh, you find that there's a lot of people that mm -hmm. care. And when you do it, you find out a lot of people come uh -huh. and they are interested in art. Uh -huh. I think it's more like the tradition of saying that mm -hmm. the art is not so important here. Mm -hmm. I think it's just that. Because mm -hmm. all the things that we have done, we did um, the first uh, celebration of International Women's Day. That mm -hmm. was two years ago mm -hmm. in River City. Mm -hmm. And same thing, oh, nobody cares about Women's Day. Oh, and I'm, okay, let's do it. We're 10 women, we're 10 women, that's it. It was packed full. And we exhibited um, seven women, eight, eight women from different countries of the world. So I brought women from totally different cultures and, and we exhibited. The opening was great and it was for one month. And they kept on doing it. So for the last two years, River City has continued celebrating International Women's Day with women artists. Mm. So it's great that it. How about the seven people from other countries? They have to have times to bring in, to import, actually have to import it. Yeah. We, we bring the art in roll. And, uh, oh, it's, they already have you, or they have to bring in? No, no, they have to have send to, it to, to different it. countries. Oh. But, mm. but the one from Louvre, is that easy to, to bring in? Oh, no, no, no. The art that was uh, is in the museum, oh, is in the, in the museum. It belongs to the museum, uh, and that's it. Uh, I will work with artists. They will send me the new collections okay. that they uh, have done, oh, okay. or something specific uh, that we ask them for, mm. like, we're going to work this theme, and they will work with that theme. Mm. But yes, it will be something for us. Very interesting, really. So, do you think that um, arts uh, help people to learn about other communities and culture? Absolutely. It's the easiest way mm. to talk to somebody mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. I have so many stories of mm. that. It doesn't matter if mm. your country is fighting with my country mm -hmm. and you are an artist and I'm an artist. Mm -hmm. it, it would not affect that he could exhibit with us. Um, I did an exhibition in New York mm -hmm. um, that was like 10 years ago. It was about uh, Israel and Lebanon. Mm -hmm. And I traveled to Israel and uh, grabbed the collection. Mm -hmm. And then we went to Lebanon. And uh, we told the artist, we're going to do an exhibition. And, oh, we want to exhibit. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, we have heard about you. And then I told them, 
I want to be clear, you are going to be exhibiting with Israel artists. Mm. So we have to first have that in the table mm. so everybody feels comfortable. Mm. And everybody looked at me like, so what? We're going to be exhibit Israel in Lebanon. Nobody was like, oh no, I'm not going to participate. Mm -hmm. Or no, we don't have relations with them. Mm -hmm. There was one, not even one artist mm -hmm. that said mm -hmm. that. They mm -hmm. all participated. So mm -hmm. that's why I say that it's so easy with art. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, a, it's an opening mm -hmm. for a fresh conversation, no mm -hmm. matter religion, politics. I anything. know, I know. So, I know. So is there any uh, bottom line or um, what? Not just not in dealing with politics. That you is there anything to say that hey, please do not have something on religion like you said yeah. anything on that kind of. Thing? Uh, when we do exhibitions with corporations, mm -hmm. uh, you cannot uh, talk about religion mm -hmm. or politics. Mm -hmm. So it could be in the painting, but it cannot be so expressed like. Uh -huh. Nothing that uh, has words or anything. Uh, so they have a very strict policies about uh, that. But there's so many things that you could show in uh, art that not necessary. You have to, like here, this uh, artist, Cesar Arechaga. Uh -huh. uh, if you see his paintings, there's uh, one that the mouth of the woman uh, is totally like red like yes. that, you know? Uh, they can, she uh, cannot talk. She cannot talk at all. So he's talking about the situation uh, of the woman. Uh, uh, he's not. Expressing uh, it with words, uh, but you see it there. Uh, so there's always something in the background that you could see it there. Yeah. Very interesting. And uh, well, so we're going to continue with this. We are coming to the end of the first part of the program. So next, uh, Madame Astrid Amaya Garcia will lead us to the art we would explore the wonderful artwork from around the globe. So please stay tuned, and we'll be back with you. Any art piece that they buy here okay. goes 20% for the gallery and you are receiving a price that it's almost 50% less for what they sell in, a, in another country. Show tie to the world, a concept of Siam style program to introduce you to well-known Thai role models. Ultimate amazing tourist attractions. Innovative Thai products. Let's proudly join Siam Style from four regions, 77 provinces across Thailand. Welcome back to our second part of the program. And uh, let us, uh, before we start for touring with uh, Madame Astrid and Maya Gracia, we would love to hear the names of international uh, renowned artists uh, that you have here. Since we're here, we could start by Joaf Brenner. Mm -hmm. Joaf Brenner was a prominent mathematician when he was in high school. Mm -hmm. He won for four years in a row the top mathematician in the country. Oh. And his father is an engineer and his mother too. Uh -huh. So they were expecting him to be an engineer. Uh, exact. So when he, he said, exact. <laughs> when he said, no, I'm going to paint, it was like, oh my oh, gosh, from where okay. are you thinking you're going to be an artist? Uh -huh. And we visit him really maybe 18 years ago when he was starting. Mm -hmm. And he was in a big, long um, place uh, in a very bad neighbor neighborhood, uh, painting big pieces and everything. But he was so engaged in it. Mm. But everything, mm. he never left uh, mm. uh, mathematics and mm. physics mm. because all his uh, artworks, half of it, and he will stand here mm. and he will talk to you for one hour explaining you what happened when he painted this. Mm. So he will explain this is was when the explosion of the formation of this and this and the black holes and he will explain to you and the stars and everything. Mm. So he really never left uh, mathematics and, and physics. He yeah. just expressed it uh -huh. with his art. Uh -huh. But he himself not going to pre be presented here. He, he's not he, his art, he, he sent me the whole collection. Is this four pieces, four, uh -huh. four big pieces that uh -huh. are in the entrance? Uh -huh. Uh, but he didn't come. Uh -huh. So what else? Okay, we will go maybe to Cesar de Chaga, mm -hmm. which is uh, not only an amazing painter, mm -hmm. all his themes are very interesting too, but as a person, he is an incredible person. Uh -huh. 
you're not going to believe I tell you that uh, like maybe eight, ten months ago he went to a prison and he went to live with inside the prison in, in Mexico. Mexico. Oh, really? One month uh -huh. inside, like if he is a prisoner, mm -hmm. like no mm -hmm. communication, no nothing. And he went to teach the most dangerous uh, prisoner uh, about how to recycle mm -hmm. and how to, from the garbage mm -hmm. of the prison, mm -hmm. to convert it in paper. Mm -hmm. And then to teach them to paint in that paper. Mm -hmm. He is doing, um, he finished already doing a movie. Mm -hmm. about uh, that mm -hmm. and, and, uh, and it's going to be inaugurated I think in Italy in I don't remember what mm -hmm. festival mm -hmm. they already pick his movie about what he did mm -hmm. in the prison and the work that he did there mm -hmm. so everything that he does is very expressive it has a lot of background mm -hmm. when he talks about the woman the painting that is mm -hmm. there it's about pollution mm -hmm. so he's always very deep in his hands mm -hmm. Interesting. Who else? And he has been in museums. Uh, so, so, uh, yes, he has been in two museums in Mexico. I don't uh, remember in okay. this moment. Mm -hmm. Museum of uh, the MoMA in Mexico mm -hmm. and in South Korea in the National Museum mm -hmm. in Jing mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So these are the two uh, prominence? Oh, no. The, um, from Colombia, uh, we have Mario Gervais, uh, we have Leonardo Salazar, uh, since we're going to, we're going to tour uh, later, uh, then we can show that. their art. Yeah, yeah, okay. Ernesto Morales, he's from Argentina, uh -huh. he's a PhD, he was for many years mm. the dean of the best faculty of mm. art mm. in Argentina. Mm. Uh, he has maybe 10 publications mm. of him, and um, he came a year ago. Uh, to Thailand and one of the pieces that we're showing here is after he returned from Thailand he did one piece uh, what he felt yeah. of Thailand oh, really? so there's here there. yes, there. yes. Yeah, and you will recognize it which one is yeah. it's um, the series that he sent it's called Landscapes uh. and one of them is Thailand uh -huh. so you're going to see him so, so. this is uh, the how many days opening this is how many days uh, um, function it's going to be for 10 days. For 10 days? Yes. Yeah. Is it open for all? It's, uh, yes, all it's open for the public. Mm. It's free to mm. visit. I hope people come with their families mm. because it's so important that the adults bring young, the youngsters, mm. their sons, their daughters mm. to see art because how are they going to start loving art and mm. being interested in art mm. if their parents don't take them? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's very important to take some time off and go and visit. Now the Biennale is here. Mm -hmm. It's a good opportunity for yeah. everybody to go and visit art places uh -huh. and expose your sons to, to culture. But the highlights of it is what? The highlights of this, uh, any particular highlights? Uh, you mean the artist? Mm, the artist or whatever you would say. Um, well, the, the, the idea uh -huh. started here to, to do this exhibition. Uh -huh. um, I was invited here for a lunch with wife of ambassadors and some uh, Thai woman. Uh -huh. And we were like maybe like 50 persons in the room mm -hmm. having lunch. Mm -hmm. And I was impressed that I had never seen this museum, mm. which I think I have been visiting everything that has art and culture here mm. in Thailand. I'm always looking what is new to go and visit it, and I didn't know this museum. So I told the, the director in mm. the lunch, mm. you know, you need, we need to promote the, uh, mm. the, the mm. gallery. If you want, I will volunteer mm. to do this. And mm. they told me, yes, let's do it next year. I said, no, mm. it has to be this, this year, year, in three months, because we are going from Thailand. Uh. So I'm volunteering to do it in October. That's the only time I could. And they loved the idea. They called me back that ready, they will give me the space. And we started uh, working on the project. So it is to promote the Queen's Gallery, to let everybody know here that the Queen's Gallery, it's a beautiful five-story building that was inaugurated 15 years ago by initiative of uh, Her Majesty the Queen. Mm. She saw the importance of having a place to show art here for the Thai people and visitors. And for those who are really interested, not only to see the beauty or the, the arts pieces, but also they can spend Arts some show. donations. Yes. This I'm holding here is a, is a arts auction category. This is a catalog of that, and you can have the picture of that, right? How yes. do they do? How do they do? And the artist okay. was an special arrangement with the artist. They gave a wonderful prize ah. with the artworks because there's some artists that 
like uh, Nesta Morales, his art uh, pieces are uh -huh. mm, more expensive, oh, let's wow. say, there. Huh. And I told him, you need to send me something huh. that people could buy here. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. we're talking about bats, but, not yes. dollars. Don't. So it's let's go and uh -huh. help me with this. Uh -huh. So all the artists gave a good break uh -huh. in the prices that they gave us. They would low down their prices uh -huh. to do it okay. here. And on top of that, right. they gave 20% mm -hmm. as a donation for mm -hmm. the gallery. Oh. So any art piece that they buy here okay. goes 20% for the gallery and your receiving a price that it's almost 50 percent less of what they sell in, a, in another country well, as i'm sure that you, all of you must be looking forward to do some donation let's follow yeah. madame astrid and see what can we buy okay let's go. so we go to see the house yes here comes a, a moment a excitement to see the mario what have you read Ajer ajerba so he's uh, this is supposed to be uh, very expensive it as I told you, all the artists gave up 50% discount uh, to be able to be shown here in Thailand mm -hmm. and be bought in that. Mm -hmm. so, so what actually, uh, I, I don't see how to say it. How oh, do you say it? I mean, what, is, what is the picture say? Okay, the, the picture is called Rock Windows. Ah. Uh, Mario Gerbe uh, was talking about the energy that Colombia received and after having so many years of trouble with guerrilla, with the mafia and everything. Colombia had a time that uh, it started maybe six years ago that everything was starting to get better and better. Mm. So this series, uh, it's about when he sees that a total different energy is coming to Colombia mm. and everything is moving forward. Mm. So all his paintings, as you see, mm -hmm. are, has a lot of energy and but has a lot of positive. Is including this? Yes, all oh. this, all this. I don't know, for me, I see jazz because mm -hmm. I love jazz. Mm -hmm. When I see something with so much movement. But in art, everybody could interpret it as they want. Uh -huh. Okay. As for the price? Uh, the price is a piece like it this. Is like is a kind of, this is a hundred thousand. A hundred thousand. Eleven. Eleven hundred thousand. Eleven hundred thousand. Not yeah. much. Yeah. No, no. The this is an artist that has been in two museums, uh -huh. has had publications, mm -hmm. has been in the cover page of magazines and two cover page of magazines. Mm, so it's it's different when you say an artist that is just starting, that nobody knows. Mm. In art, it's how, where they have been and what collections you are. Mm. And he has been in a corporate, a serious corporate collection. So that's what it makes build the name of an artist. So since there's so many pieces of art, so we're going to pick up some of them already, okay? Yeah. So we see Colombia here. We're going to yeah. see some of the Israel. We're going to see some of the Iranian, so come along. We're going to have it. It's a real uh, yeah. thing of, uh, you know, uh -huh. something. What does it mean, actually? He's Cesar Arechaga. Uh -huh. He's from Mexico. Mexico and he, is, he expresses himself very strong in different mm. matters. Mm. As you could see, the first one, uh -huh. it's about pollution. Pollution. It's a kid uh -huh. that has to wear a mask. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. The second one, it's about women that they cannot express themselves. Wow. So that's why you cannot uh, see the mouth. But you see perfectly uh, the face, but the mouth uh, is like uh, covered. But look at this one. This one is my favorite. I like it. Don't you don't know if she's sad, uh -huh. if she's a widow, uh -huh. or she's thinking. thinking. It's, it's, a it's about to get married or something. Exactly. Like, you know, it's, 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 it's a great thing. She has been in the Mocha Museum in Mexico, and he has been, I think it's in Korea, in the Museum of... Uh, in this piece here, it's in four pieces, and it's about race. So he says he wants race? to yes, he wants to express that uh, we all have a little bit of everything. So we could be white race, we could be here. He put this as the black race. So we are a mix of everything. No race is a pure race. We have from every place. So this is a very interesting painting. Oh, it's breathtaking. Yes. Let's go. Okay, this is another piece of... Uh, this is well, Israel. This is Israel. Israel. Is in, uh, you are Brenner. You are Brenner. And he's the one that is... Everything uh, still has mathematics and physics. Mm -hmm. uh, this piece here is a very, very interesting mm -hmm. piece. I'm sorry, I got... This, uh, this is the uh, cover page uh -huh. of uh, Private Equity International, uh -huh. which is a magazine, an international magazine okay. that is for the private... They put in the cover page of the magazine an artist uh -huh. that they select from all over the world. Mm -hmm. And this the piece name is was singular, a singularity. Singularity. Yes. singularity. And it's so about the black Do you like to hear the price?
surprise? What is the price? Okay, read it out. The price of that is three hundred twenty-eight thousand, which is but an amazing is price. This is for the This is the starting the starting price. Start the start mm. price. Yes, normally it would be like six hundred thousand. Mm. It starts in that, and if it starts Beautiful. goes with the first bit, it Beautiful. goes with just and one the oil, oil, oil yes. on the canvas. This you know? piece here, he came and he stood here one month in Thailand two years ago. He did in Thailand. And then I told him you have to do something that make me think of Thailand when I see him. So mm. he went and he bought in the street a uh, table. Mm. This is a, a table where people eat. Look at that. And then he said it cannot be more Thai. Oh, this is a table that people eat in the street. And then Let's he takes me this. And and he, yes, uh -huh. he left me everything as you see it there. That means you, so buy this, uh, you buy this and you get them extra for free, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. okay. Yes, no. we go next to that studio. Yes. Okay. That's a good Last but not least at all, Ed is in a what work of Arash Koyan. He's a Iranian, right? Supposed yes. to be Iranian. What he's going to say is something on the paper. This no, was this was a great surprise this week. Uh, he was going to be here for the exhibit, uh, and uh, he went to Paris because he had at the same time an exhibit there. Uh, and Lou bought uh, one of his art pieces for the permanent collection in the Louvre Museum. Mm, that happened this week. Interesting. This week. The interesting part of the uh, art from Iran is this person in it has had 2,000 years of, of history in mm. art. Mm. And they don't care about perspective mm. in shadow. So that's why you see something huge mm. with the person who this The tiny little person exactly. there. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And everything mm. is such in detail. Like this piece is totally different from this one. But it's the detail that they put. It's incredible pieces. And this one here has so many different things inside. It has a horse. And the crowd is so little. Yes. Look so little yes. for, for, for well, what, piece, you know? Yes. What we if try you is to make 100%. art affordable. Mm. To work with the artists and say, mm. you need to also mm -hmm. make art that people could afford. Mm -hmm. Not everybody could mm. buy a piece of yeah. uh, $20,000, but right. they could buy a piece of $3,000 uh, or $2,000. Mm -hmm. So that's what we try mm -hmm. to do. We try to bring art to public spaces. Mm. We try to... Um, uh, help the artists mm -hmm. and at the same time uh, teach people that they need to go to mm -hmm. see art mm -hmm. and to teach their kids mm -hmm. to be near art and culture. Very interesting, really. So uh, please, I just wanted to end up by saying that please do not miss an opportunity to be here because if you have sufficient uh, money to buy the, the, this kind of a donation kind of thing, you know, you can do some, some donation, you can do yes, that kind of thing. So thank you so much for being here. Madam no. Artista Maya Gracia, we are really thank you, appreciate so your participation of the you. time and all that to bring thank us here. Thank you, so it's a pleasure much. to be here. Yeah, okay, so uh, this is uh, about the introduction of this wonderful event to us and uh, we are sure the exhibition will be huge success. So I hope you all enjoyed and have a great time. I hope you all enjoyed and have a great time and uh, thanks for watching Thailand today. Hope to see you again. Sadika. Thank you. Sadika. Sadika.